Welcome to Modern Plastics TV the first and largest online TV for the plastics and polymer industry voice of global plastics industry since 2013 Few hours to go for the world's largest plastic show ever in the world open its door tomorrow morning and the whole world come to Düsseldorf Thank you so much for watching Modern Plastics TV Dr Torsten Kuman from VDMA is here with me we had several discussion and the opening press conference thank you so much for joining us and uh, uh, tell us about you know the latest happening in the plastic machinery industry and uh, yes i know it is difficult to announce there are so many innovations coming during announcement coming during the show what are the latest trend happening here gino first of all thank you very much for having me here um uh, to to put it in a nutshell uh, it's all about the power of plastics green smart responsible that is the motto of the k show 2025 and uh, alongside this uh, motto the machine manufacturers pos position themselves so you will find a lot of, about um, uh, sustainability about recycling about recycling formats um this can be seen across the whole uh, exhibition it's so important it's not only about um collecting uh, washing uh, regranulating but it's also about um making it possible to to handle recyclates uh, into new products um so that's that's one issue uh, and the other really strong issue here on Keisho will be digitalization and artificial intelligence that will be a booster that will be a booster across the whole exhibition this is in full swing right now and to just to give you one example for artificial intelligence um in many countries not in india but uh, in the us in uh, europe and in china we've got a lack of skilled personnel skilled staff for the um con for the plastics industry and uh, if you want to be at the top and um, operate high sophisticated machines you need either skilled people very skilled people which in in the regions i mentioned you will not get in the future or you have artificial intelligence and by that you can operate uh, such high skilled machines in a easy way also uh, we see a lot of change happening in the people's behavior on waste management how do you see uh, in europe compare, comparing to asian countries well the waste management has been a an issue here in europe for many many years now and um uh, we have now entered a, a very strong uh, regular regulatory uh, point uh, where for example uh, we have set um, standards or quotas uh, for regranulates uh, for example uh, in the packaging and packaging waste directive of the european commission um there are clear quotas uh, for dealing with packaging in future so you need to introduce a uh, high level um of um, recyclates into the packaging the challenge what uh, uh, the processes are facing like multi layer packaging recycling and also the huge manufacturing of uh, fresh raw material from the fossil So how do you uh, see this will it change in the coming days people will people move to uh, single layer plastics or how can it be improved from the for the industry um i i uh, i think those issues you just mentioned single layer uh, plastics um is in many cases the easier way uh, to go for recycling because if you've got a, a monthly multi-layer uh, foil for example uh, with different material um then recycling will be a challenge uh, so most likely uh, you will also have to talk about uh, the design of products they must be eco-friendly designed otherwise um, you will have a hard work at the end what is the future advice or your suggestion for industry to improve Well um the the, the industry um is a strong industry number one because uh, plastics is a growing material worldwide so we are not really in worry about the, our industry it's a, it's a very successful industry but we need to come to a change in this industry this change needs two aspects number one 
uh, a transformation into a circular economy and number two, a transformation into digitalization and artificial intelligence. Those are the two trends. And I think if we sit here in three, we, three years, um, we will see also this both in full swing. As I'm in the industry for 30 years, I can see a lot of change. You also saw a lot of changes in the industry. Uh, sustainability, the latest trend, what is happening? Uh, how do you see the bioplastic industry? Uh, the bioplastic industry um, is one way uh, to get to a more um, sustainable way of dealing with plastics. It is one possibility. Uh, so far, um, it, it's, it's a still a niche market. Um, uh, why? Because it's also quite expensive and you can only uh, expand it to certain um, aspects or to certain products. Uh, I'm sure uh, this will uh, go up uh, in the next years. Um, but so far it's a niche, but still it's one of the ways to contribute to a circular economy. The world is changing, sustainability is coming in a better way and the coming days you can see the global technology recycling sustainability for the greener and better future thank you so much for joining us here in Düsseldorf